I want to double down on the increased demand for soft skills that you're kind of predicting. Uh, how can marketers balance the need to level up their technical chops in data science while still also keeping an eye on upping their people skills? Because as you know, the, the, the surge continues, those will continue to be uh, important as well. Yeah, I'm really excited about those two things converging. Mm. So like the workshop instructor who can lean on otter.ai to record the workshop and, you know, know that we'll have images of whatever the team is working on so that they can be more human, they can yeah. be more present. Um, same goes for like meetings. I feel like I'm a better communicator with some of this technology that I know is sort of taking notes for me or for the team. Um, so I get really, really excited about that. And it also, I think it helps hold people accountable. You know, I don't know if I get confused with Otter and the other one, but one like says who talked the most during the meeting and who asked the best questions. Um, that sort of, sort of insights is so fascinating and fun for me. Um, yeah. So I think that that technology is certainly very, very exciting, but if, I, I continue to challenge marketers that, you know, have traditionally been interested in getting a bit more technical is like, you really don't have an excuse now. This is the world's best assistant, right? Like I used to buy developers lunch all the time, <laughs> all the time, or like beers or whatever, just to get like info and like, well, how can I do this? And like, yeah. I had, I carried so much guilt from over asking engineers <laughs> for support and questions that it was like not healthy. And now that I have the freedom to just ask away on a tool that is so good at getting me those insights in the flash of an eye, it's, it's, um, I feel like I have a superpower. It's so exciting. And I think people need to really like leverage that for what it is that they're working on. And again, like you don't really have an excuse now because it's just unbelievable what this stuff can do. I mean, you get stuck in Google Sheets trying to do something, go to chat GPT, right? Ask it how to do that task. Um, oh my gosh, I've used it for so many things that <laughs> it just really, it's incredible. So I think that's exciting to get more people like technically savvy and building things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. And then on the flip side, I think the soft skills will be more important than ever, ever. And let me tell you what, we need soft skills in the AI industry. There is a large population of people building this technology with very high IQs and very low EQs. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that to diminish any of these people in general. Like I'm just, it's, that's an observation. Yeah. And quite frankly, I, I would have put myself in the boat in, in terms of it's not going to be any of those people that have been using this technology up until this point to think of the brilliant next steps. I'm, I get super, super excited about kind of being a catalyst for some of this information so that domain experts like you can come up with like the brilliant MarTech solution that I would have never thought about or never considered. And it's even like, you know, like the stay-at-home moms and, you know, um, people caring for a loved one who's going through a medical crisis. Like there's, there's real world applications that I want to see solutions for right like how can we just in general make people's lives easier better more efficient um and again i think empowering people non-technical people to make some of those like application ideas or considerations is what's going to level all this up because mm -hmm. traditionally and unfortunately all the attention goes to kind of the gpu providers right yeah. it's all the aws and google cloud but like in order for those to even stay afloat and available, we need applications to like blow up and be successful and provide real world value um, while obviously like mitigating harm and being very careful about how we do it. But yeah, so I, I get really, really excited about that stuff. And even, you know, learning about different applications, it's it becomes more and more evident how essential the domain experts are. That's the bottleneck in AI. Yeah. It's no longer data and it's no longer... AI researchers, it's domain experts. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? I think that's so exciting. Um, so I hope people can kind of like get excited about that and really 
kind of learn the fundamentals to have that power of like going about your day and realizing, oh, like this could definitely be automated, right? We could use something like what I just learned about to do this.